Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a gigantically huge Dollar Tree haul for you today. So I went to five, five different Dollar Trees that I usually go to. So there's five or six in my area. This morning I got up and I hit the road and I went to the other side of town and I hit the Dollar Trees over there just to see, you know, what they have different. And, oh, sorry, I was not centered. So I will show you all the things I bought. Um, but first, my coffee. I stopped and treated myself with some iced coffee uh, on the way home. Okay, we're going to start over here and work our way around. Uh, this is a repeat purchase for me. I love this stuff. Um, you know, I have cats, but I've also been dog sitting a lot lately. And so this really freshened up my carpet. Um, what I do, and you can use this plain, but I like the pet because I have pets. But I sprinkled it all over my floor while the boys were sleeping. And I just let it sit for like a half an hour. And then I vacuumed it up. And it really freshened up my carpet non-sponsored but I like it and it's Arm & Hammer they have all different fragrances but I liked I like this one and I did the whole house and it was great so I bought another container of that um, I found this and I really would like to find some more I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it it's just a placemat plastic ones but do you see the fall colors it's like burgundies and orange I'm not sure if I put something behind it that'll help yeah, there we go. So it's just really pretty fall colors. You see all that? I don't know what's gonna happen to, with this. It may end up in a, like a tray. I only found one in five stores and it wasn't even with the placemat stuff. Um, but like I said, this is plastic. Oh, my God, my kitchen of oh, my coffee section. I don't know, we'll see. On my coffee area, you know. Okay, now I'm getting ready to paint. So I needed a few things. Um, I just grabbed some rags. I think this is a two pack. Yeah. Um, while I'm painting, I'm terrible about taping. I rather just edge in, but I use this in case I make a mess. So I always keep a wet rag handy. So I grabbed the two pack because these, I don't care if they get yucky and I'll just throw them away. So I grabbed a two pack of those. I grabbed, I don't know if these are any good. We're going to find out though. I grabbed a couple rollers. I know for sure that I have one. But my brother and my niece and maybe my cousin are coming to help. So I want a couple more roller dealies. I'll buy the actual rollers at Home Depot. But I grabbed two of these. Because um, I can throw them away. I don't feel bad. They're a dollar. I need to get some trays and stuff. And then I grabbed three of these. And these are great. Um, it's a paint bucket for edging. So... You put your paint in here, there's a edge here to wipe it off, and then your handle, you can flip your paintbrush upside down and it'll sit in your handle. Make sure you get all the paint off before you do that. But, also with this spout. So I grabbed three, two for people who are cutting in, and one because I'm buying five gallons of paint, a five gallon bucket, and I won't be able to like tip. So I figured I'll use this to like scoop the paint into the pans and into these buckets and then I can just wash this with, you know, in the clean water. So I figured three would be a good number to have. And I can always get more, um, but I figured two of us will cut in and one person can be rolling or some, some semblance of that. But I have that. Um, I did get a little bit of painter's tape. I have a couple rolls, but I thought I want to try this. Plus, I want to try it for crafting purposes. So, I just got one roll. Um, I picked up three of these painter's tarps. Because we will only be doing one room or two rooms at a time. Um, but one definitely needs to get down the carpet in my hallway. So, behind where you're at, I have stairs going up. When you reach the second landing, I have 18 foot ceilings. So we're going to be doing a lot of laddering and extension pole to edge in. And I'm, that's new carpet. So we need to keep this taped down upstairs and down the stairs for sure. Because we'll be using a lot of extension pole kind of action to get the higher ceilings. So I grabbed three of those. We'll see if I need more. I can always run back. 
Um, I just had a couple holes to fill in, so I'm gonna try this brand of lightweight spackling. It says paintable in minutes, won't shrink or crack, no sanding required, although I don't believe that. Spreads easily, water cleanup. And I just needed a little, just to fill in like nail holes and stuff. And then I grabbed, I think I have one of these, but I couldn't find it. And for a buck, I just grabbed another spackling tool to fill my holes. And then the last thing I got for householdy is this razor blade. Um, it'll be good. I'm not painting any windows, but if you do, this will be good to take the paint off if you have to paint your window frames. Um, but what I'm using it for is I have a glass top cook stove that has some muck on it and you can take baking soda and water and then a razor blade and it kind of scrapes off the buildup. I just have a couple spots that are freaking me out because I can't stand it. So I'm gonna try razor blading it. So all of that was from you know the tool bench section um and then i'm headed to home depot on monday to buy the paint and you're gonna see all this gone behind me i'm packing up all my knickknacks this week so we are gonna paint well today when you see this it'll be tuesday we're gonna paint saturday so all right the next section i went into was the laundry section i'm gonna open these up for you i grabbed these two sizes for my mask Ooh for my masks, right? Um, I think washing them, and I'm taking one of these to my niece, but throwing my masks in here, in the car, when I take it off, tossing the dirty ones in one of these mesh bags, and then I can, when I'm ready, just take them all and throw this whole thing in the washing machine. I don't dry my mask because I don't want to dry out the elastic. Um, so if I wash them in one of these, and then I just hang them up to dry and then put this back in the car. I may do like one for clean. This package comes with three. So we may do like clean, dirty. I don't know. Sarah needs one as well. Sarah's my niece. <laughs> she teaches um, high school English. And at this point, they are going back into the classroom. So she'll be wearing probably several masks a day I would imagine and so I want to get her a couple of these as well so she can take them off in the classroom stick her dirty ones in here so she's not contaminating anything and then bring this home and launder it the same so she'll probably get two and I'll just keep one of those but then I also got this one which is for delicates or let's be honest it's for bras but let's see what it looks like because I wasn't sure oh okay so that also, oh neat, and it has like a little ring unzip, to unzip it. That'll also work. Open it up, probably not all the way, it is for bras, but if I just open it up enough to stick my masks in there, then that can go into the washer or the clean ones in my car and I can just reach in and grab a clean one. So that's probably, this will be the clean for me. And then the, um, big one will be for laundry for the dirty and these are nice they have a plastic ring so it will hold its shape so these are pretty great options to store masks in I know we're trying to be super diligent about being tidy and all of that and I think for a dollar these will be great I've used them before um, the bigger ones but this size is great for the masks and easy to just throw in your wash and then I like I said I hang mine to dry so I grab those I'll take Sarah too, so she'll have one for her clean and one for her dirty mask, because that's, if she does four a day for four days, five days, that's 20, 20 a week, she's going to have to rotate through. I don't know if she's going to end up get, itch. if she's going to end up having 20 masks, I'm not sure, but we'll get her situated before school. All right. Oh, and then the last cleaning thing I picked up was this. And this is not Dollar Tree brand. It's Scrub It Antimicrobial Microfiber Cleaning Towel. Traps and removes dust and dirt. Um, not Dollar Tree brand. It's a Scrub It brand. Um, so I have stainless steel um, refrigerator in front of my dishwasher. So I'm going to try and see if I just wet this it'll clean the front and not streak it because I'm getting annoyed with streaks so we're gonna try this microfiber cloth if not they come in handy 
um, for all sorts of things. I hate touching microfiber because my hands are dry, but you know, life goes on. And they're two, and they definitely feel a little thicker. Um, I have two that are fantastic that I got from um, my work. We work with an auction, an auto auction, and they gave us two that they use, and they are fantastic. Super thick, clean everything. But we'll see if this works. So I grabbed it. Why not? I have not seen those before, but that'll go. And if it doesn't work good, it'll end up being like a painting rag or crafting or something. I can use it. Okay. Next up, I found some camper socks. Now, these are say they're for men's, but I'm giving them to my sister-in-law. She uh, wears bigger than a nine. I think she wears a size 10 shoe, so I think these will be perfect. But you see the RVs? And there, she and her husband bought a school bus little type of bus and they're redoing it into an RV so I thought that would be super cute for her so I'll give them to Sarah when I see her it's her mom and she can give them to her mom when she sees her but are those not adorable and they're cute I mean I could have got two pair but they can share so I grabbed those um they have the t-shirts back this brand is comfort color but I love it um, I love this color a lot. It's a 2X, and I probably will end up being my painting shirt, to be quite frank, or something similar. But I loved it, and it's a nice, heavy cotton. And it will be great to paint in, because if it gets yucky, I don't care. I purged all my other yucky t-shirts and stuff earlier this summer when I went through my clothing, so I don't really have any gross shirts that I don't care if they get paint all over them. So I bought one for a dollar. It's good. Um, I found two magnets because, oh, now Sarah has a dog and it says, I just want to hang with my dog. Um, that's Sarah and her little dog, Luna. You've seen her a million times. And then for me, uh, what's more important, coffee or cats? Good meowing. Oh, can you see it? I'm not a huge magnet lover, but um, please. It's got a cat and a coffee cup. And Sarah needs this too because it's true. So I grabbed those. I'll take that to Sarah. I'm actually going to see her on Monday. I have the day off. Uh, we had planned on going to the fair, uh, the county local fair. My young cousin, Addison, you've seen her in the videos as well. She is showing a pig and a goat, but we can't go because of the COVID, they have just restricted it to the junior fair only, and it's just the kids who are showing and their fa their parents. So, sad day, but I'll take the day off. Um, on that side note, those balls that I got at Dollar Tree, I gave them to the Super Chewer German Shepherds, and those things are still in one piece. Uh, good purchase if you see them. Just as an aside, I didn't get a video. It was raining when I dropped them off, and I figured they'd be chewed up in like 10 minutes. But I texted yesterday, and she said, no, they're still going at them. I'm like, all right, well, then if I see some more, I'll pick them up. Because her dogs love to play ball. And they're very, very watchful of them with the balls. I know they're a little bigger than a tennis ball, but the dogs, they watch them really closely. So thank you for those who are concerned about a choking hazard. You're 100% right. Um, but they do watch and they put them up when they're not playing with the dogs. They don't let them freely have them. Just a heads up. Okay, now we're getting into some DIY stuff. I picked up three books. I, I don't know who this author is. I'm sure it's a lovely book. It's Naughtier Than Nice uh, by Eric Jerome Dickey. I don't know who he is, but I'm using his books for decor. Now, a couple things. I wanted the white books. They didn't have it, and I'm like, I'm not going to be fussy. What I can do, you, several things you can do. I want to write thankful, grateful, blessed on each. I bought three. You can paint this. You can tear off the hard cover. You can turn the book sleeve inside out and write on the back. And if you iron this, it'll get rid of all your creases. Or, I bought some white paper. I bought two because I wasn't sure. And look how different colors they are. 
but I got white paper. This is from a learning tree. It's banner art, and this is wrapping paper. He's out there. Uh, I was like, what's that noise? Alex, what are you doing? He's laying in the window with his head cocked back. He's trying to look up. There must be a bird. Anyway, I'm going to cut these, and I'm going to make old school book covers and put the words and have it stacked for fall and um, for a dollar per book and I'm not tearing them up I'm just covering them and I might read this it sounds interesting but I have three of the same book because I wanted them all the same size when they stack and I may even rub wrap some like ribbon around all three to make it look old-fashioned-y. I don't know, but for right now, I have the paper and I have three books and we'll do it together. You know that, I'll bring you on. Okay, now I found, and I'll take these one of these out of the plastic. I grabbed two, one's for me, one's for Sarah. Sarah's a teacher, an apple for the teacher, right? Um, and put that one over here. I grabbed two, but also apple for fall. And I thought this would be great on my, either on a tiered tray or like on a shelf. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I am opening it because it does, it's a little trinket jar in the shape of an apple. Isn't that so sweet? But apples for fall tray. And if you really wanted to, you could just glue the lid on so that it doesn't, if you put it in your tiered tray and put it to like cock it to an angle, the top doesn't fall off or set it up straight. But it's nice and little and I like that for decor. So I grabbed one of those and I have never seen that before and I haven't seen anybody call it either, but I don't watch everybody. I mean, I watch a lot of people, trust me, because I was out today hunting for things I did not find. I did not find the the rugs with the cars. I did not find the tin cans, the buckets that said pumpkins. I didn't find those. I'm sure I will. Okay, DIY. Now we've all seen these, right? At the Dollar Tree. They're toothbrush holders, or are they? Um, you could spray paint this, leave it clear. The toothbrush holes act as a frog to put plants in. You can put fake or real, and this will hold them separate and have a little tiny bouquet for your mantle, for your table, whatever. Um, you could spray paint this. It's just plastic, so it's pretty lightweight. If you're going to put anything heavy, top heavy flowers, I would fill it with rocks um, to weight the bottom. And they also have those at the Dollar Tree, but I thought this is fantastic. I'm probably going to spray paint it black, maybe. My colors, I think. Because now that I'm painting my house, I don't know 100%, but my goal is a lot of copper to go with the creams and neutrals. My mantle's going to be navy blue. So I think all the copper pieces will go really well with that. And then creams and golds and metallics. But I grabbed two of these. Um, I really like to have equal on either side. If I decide to put some greenery in here, I'm wondering if you could like, yeah. You could even flip it over and glue it if you didn't like it higher. But I like the idea of separating, putting small floral in here and having having those holes separate your evenly. So look in your toothbrush section for a toothbrush holder. So we have those. Um, I'm ever on the hunt for the glass storage containers because I'm switching away. And I grabbed one of these. Perfect size. Again, I'm a single lady, so this is a good size for me. I just got one for packing my lunch or storing leftovers. So now I have three containers that are glass. I'll get more, but I'm just, as I see them, I'm picking them up. So I grabbed one of those. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, is it dishwasher safe? I'm assuming it's glass. I probably won't put the lid in the dishwasher. But that's a decent sized bowl. I would say if I had to guess, that's a cup and a half or two cups. Probably two cups. So yeah, and the lid stays on pretty tight. So I grabbed one of those. Um, back to some crafting stuff. I had seen people hauling these, but I hadn't found them. So I grabbed them. And this one says our farm house. 
And I'm wondering if I could, yeah, this is straight up like a sticker. I bet you I could take nail polish remover and look at that one. But if you also set them this direction, it's just plain white or spray paint, guys. Um, the original plan for these is possibly a, a tiered tray. Again, because they're nice and tiny, but they're cute. Little picture. Um, tiered tray. Also, in my kitchen, I have the wall that has the eat sign on it now. I'm thinking I'm going to hang a tr uh, shelf there and set the eat sign on it. And then I could put maybe this with a little bit of greenery in it or some tiny little kitcheny type stuff on that shelf. So I thought I'll grab two because I'm not 100% sure. Um, and they had two white and one pink and I didn't really want the pink. So I grabbed that. Although if that's all they have, I just would have spray painted it white. But if I don't have to spray paint, I don't have to. Am I still recording? Good Lord, we're at 20 minutes, guys. Oh, there's Wellington. Um, I did find the Be Brave calendar. I'm not found the market yet. But I liked this for October, November, December. Look at that pumpkin, but also the Christmas one. But then next summer, those are super pretty. So I grabbed this one to do some DIYs with. We'll see. Not the end of the world if I don't find it, but it will be fun. But I have that, and I am submitting with that white pumpkin. So that will become a DIY for sure. Here in a minute, I can show you. Ugh, I'm reaching. Um, I grabbed two of these. I think we've all seen them. This one's broken, and that's okay because I'm taking these off, and I'm going to put, like, pumpkin patch and possibly one little stick and put it in a plant or stick it outside. Um, pumpkin's 25 cents a pound type signs. So I grabbed two, you know, I could also do two together and um, put pumpkin season or pumpkin spice everything if I decide to get a third one. And what's really neat is if you take this kickstand off, they will glue together. These don't move. You can just glue them using that as your support. So I might do one more and do um, pumpkin spice everything on here and then stick it somewhere so I should need one more but yeah I grabbed two of those because I think that'll be fun crafting materials um, I grabbed some more of this rope and actually tomorrow you'll see a DIY where I used a couple of them um, but I did purchase originally three I have one left so I probably need to get some more and I'm bummed out that this is only nine feet the other ones that I had were 13 feet and a little thicker but what else if I need more than that, I should just go buy a big spool because then it becomes more cost effective. I found this sign. Look at that color. Like, I don't know that I'm doing anything with this other than the glitter, but it's copper. This, I believe, is going to go in my front porch inside of a mum. Because doesn't that look perfect in a mum? I got two, but I think the other one's upstairs. The other one set is the uh, thankful, grateful, blessed, maybe. But I like friends gather here because they do. Oh, I better get moving, guys. I grabbed one of these. I had some from last year. I love them. However, I'm going to redo it. I saw at Hobby Lobby a very similar shape, different wording, and the glitter just is off-putting to me right now. So I'm going to upcycle our little wooden pumpkin, but we've all seen those. I grabbed two of this sign, but I'm going to use probably the back to do that white pumpkin. Right, right. Although the front, front is nice, but just like the Dollar Tree, there is glitter. So if you're going to put your pumpkin spice and everything nice up, then you're going to want a hairspray or clear coat or something over that glitter because there is there's a fair amount of fallout on it. Um, more crafty bits. I grabbed this, which I'm hard pressed to get rid of the cat, but it says I'm not single. I have a cat. Um, but I probably will end up popping the cat out and putting something in the back and painting it. And the same with these. I can break this off or cut it off with an X-Acto knife and then make some little signs so the point was um a couple different size little signs to set 
somewhere and they have you know different sizing but I grabbed two in case I need to work with it and any of them will work but you just take a knife and basically like saw it off so I will do that um, I have a new glue gun you'll see it in tomorrow's video because I already created it but it takes really fat glue sticks and I bought a couple packs to try out I've never tried the Dollar Tree glue sticks um, but this is what it came with they're pretty big and I think if I had to guess and I'm yeah these are the same size so I grabbed two packs just to have and try the larger glue sticks and then I'll see I like it alrighty I picked up a repeat of these I have been using them fairly regularly and I needed some more so I grabbed another pack for myself I also grabbed another pack of the white of these, um, tiered tray, back of a truck, decor. These are going to be great. And I only had four, so now I have eight of this color. Because even if I want to paint them, I think white is easier to paint than orange. Um, did I mention I'm obsessed with copper? Yes, I did. So I grabbed two more of these pens and the copper um, because they're great. I love smacking myself here. I love these metallic markers. They are fantastic. Well worth the dollar. So I grabbed two more. I've already gone through one. Now I picked up three of these little, little tins, right? I believe, and I really wish it would tell me, but it's 2.1 inches. I'm going to be making some lotion bars with essential oils and, um, the mold that I'm getting is this size. So I wanted these to put the lotion bars in. And these were much cheaper than buying them on Amazon. Four for a dollar. So I have 12 of them. That's plenty for gifting purposes. Um, the mold I'm buying will drop right inside of this tin. So I thought, perfect. So I grabbed those. That's for gifting. <sighs> we're almost there, guys. Family. I finally found it. Um, I love this sign. I love it. This is all year round. This is not just Thanksgiving. I picked up two. I will decorate one and I will take one to Sarah. Um, oh, backwards. I don't know if it's backwards to you, but it was backwards to me. Um, and I will tell you, they take paint really well. I've already painted the gather sign. So I grabbed family because I just like it. And honestly, it would go nice on a wall and then have family pictures around it. I think that might be something that's going to happen on a wall here after I've painted and having family photos and hang this on the wall in a matchy color. I don't know what color, but I did get two. Um, the only food items I found some more of the Power Aid. I got another of the Tropical Mango. It was delicious. And then I got Berry Cherry. And I love that there's no artificial colors and things. And then they also had cucumber lime. I'm not a fan. So I grabbed these two. Just to throw in the fridge. I like them if I'm out sweating, doing yard work or garage or whatever. Painting next weekend. I'm buying everybody in my family pizza that I don't even eat. But I think that's nice. All right. Um, I did pick up one of these for me. So working from home... I'm not going to dry erase on it, but I am going to put my daily schedule of tasks for my job that I need to finish every day. And once it starts getting busy again, um, it's nice. I like to have a reminder of what reports I have to process and what emails I need to do. And I have certain tasks that need to be done every day. And so having a, a written reminder, and normally I would have it on the wall of my cubicle, but I don't have a cubicle. So I grabbed one of these and it has a hole so I can hang it next to my desk. And then it'll just be in here and I can change it up if I need to. But it's just a reminder for work. And green is Huntington Banks colors. So I went with green. They also have those at Target in the dollar spot for a dollar, but I don't know the quality. I didn't actually purchase them. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. We're coming down to the wire. I grabbed one of those 
facial hair removers. Can we all be honest? I'm old. I have a hair that grows in my chinny chin chin. And we're going to see if this works. It just says hold the handle of the tool, gently press the coil directly onto the hair to be removed and glob it upwards. I don't know. We're going to see. It's got a spring. You remember the Epa lady that like ripped your leg hair out? Mm hmm. Yeah, this is pretty much that. But you have to do it yourself. So we're going to try that and see how it works. Now, I hit the Heidi Swap Not Dollar Tree jackpot. This is called K and, K and Company Smash. I think it goes into a Smash Your Journal, but I'm going to use it in my planner. And you hook these in. It sticks to a page, and then it becomes a divider which is always great when you're, I'm working in a notebook. They're, so they're like page dividers. And they're all different prints. So we're gonna see, and it's sticky. There's an adhesive on the edge. So we're gonna see if I can get this to work. So I grab those and on the back it shows you how to do it. I don't have the planner though. Um, also from this K and Company are some numbers I got which I love, I think these will look great on three like pots with some herbs or something. I don't know, I love that numbered feel. Um, and this comes with 30 stickers. So you have up to 20, number 25. I think it's for a wedding because there's also some hearts and the words reserved. I don't care, I just want the numbers. Right guys, we just want the numbers. But yeah, it goes all the way up to 25. So I thought that was fun for a dollar. I grabbed some Heidi Swap Jumbo stickers. It comes with 52, and this is totally going in my planner. And it's just, oh, here we go. And this is Pop Fizz, Don't Mind If I Do, Just In Case, Cutie. And then we have like Ditto, um, Smart and Sassy, Totes Adore, Seriously Rad, Way Cute, and then Challenge Accepted, and all these little dots. And it says, So Fancy and Remember, Chow Bella. So it's a little three pack, but these are pretty decent quality stickers. I believe they're like a vinyl. And if that's the case, they can go on my tumbler or on my water bottle. Um, also from Heidi Swap, I grabbed two of these. So I'm giving one to Sarah. It's some more planner stickers, but these are puffy with the camera. And I just thought those were really cute. And the middle says Wonder. And it's just one sheet. I think Heidi Swap is going through some packaging changes. So this is why all this ended up here. This is Project Life theme cards. This is going to Sarah because she does scrapbooking. And they're just little journaling cards for your scrapbook or whatever. Um, this goes with a smash book as well. It can you stick it on there and it makes any of your notebooks or journals with a lock. Like a, remember the diaries that came with the key? Well, it just went across the room. But that can do that. You can turn it into it. And then lastly, I grabbed this, which is a personalized to fit your style and it just is um fabric covered like foam board and it's adhesive on the back so i thought that would be fun to do some crafting with i believe that's a five by seven and an eight by ten if i had to guess um it doesn't really say but again you could totally like put this in a frame and just sit it up I thought that was pretty cool. I think it can go in the back of like a light board as well. But again, Heidi Swap, really cute. I love the metallics. I'm obsessed. Whew. Guys, oh, I'm spilling coffee all over the floor. That, my friends, was a big haul. Whew. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you later.